to another episode of High Events. Today we are jetting Colombo 7 to see an icon who has put us in the map. It is the dazzling Daniel Denise New Year concert by the Mano Changum Music Foundation. So stay tuned to find out what's happening right here. <laughs>
I have Akram and Shiroma with me. Akram, tell me why you decided to, you know, be a part of this event. Uh, it's, I've always been with Danielle Denise whenever she came for the last three, I mean, the third time with her. And she's a fabulous artist and I think everyone will support her and enjoy what she gives out or sings out. Shirma, tell me what you thought of Daniel's performance and are you a fan of her and is this the first event you have taken part in? No, it hasn't. As Akram said, we've always been part of her shows. This is the third one we've been part of. She was, she's fabulous and we're really proud that she's of Sri Lankan heritage. So it's fantastic. So with me, I have gorgeous Anusha. You look so beautiful right now. Thank you, thank you. Was it? Tell me this. Did it live up to your expectations? Yes, it did. Uh, she has a lovely voice, and she's one of those very, very fortunate people who's got it all. She's got the looks, she's got the voice, she's got the personality, and she can hold and captivate her audience. So when you have all of these combined in one person, it is a win-win situation. You can't lose out.
Well, I have Cyril with me. Cyril, tell me about the dazzling performance by Daniel. An incredible performance as usual. Lovely to see her back here again after so many years. Uh, can always hit the right notes. I never quite understand how only she can manage that. So many others miss things. She doesn't. She's perfect. A lovely performance, a lovely mixture. Yeah. The, uh, the original ones of the opera were lovely to hear. Along with things like Beezer and things, as well as that end performance there, with some lovely pieces there.
and tell me about your experience this time around. You might have heard a lot about Sri Lanka, but how was it for you to experience it? Because a lot of things have changed in the last few years. It's true. Um, I was last here five years ago, and that was for quite a short trip. That was to celebrate the seven years of independence. We did a wonderful performance uh, of the orchestra here. Um, this was a different trip because my family and I had um, decided to reunite here in Sri Lanka for Christmas. Uh, so we came to stay with Uncle Mano and Yamal. Um, we spent Christmas with them, and then we have gone on a holiday um, via the wonderful uh, Shirmal, who has um, given us her recommendations of the, all the beautiful jet wing locations. So we started in Gaul, we went on to Yala, um, and have seen all the beautiful treasures of Sri Lanka, and then back up to Araga Bay and back. So um, it's been an incredible time for us as a family because we are a very close family and we don't always get to see each other as much as we would like. Um, we've come from different parts, New York, LA, London. Um, and one of the things that I'm really reminded of, and I'm reminded of it all the time, but especially when I come back to the country of my parents' birth, um, is that the goodness of Sri Lanka is everywhere. It's in every part of the population, rich, poor, um, it, the hospitality. We've been speaking about this a lot. The Sri Lankan hospitality is second to none. I mean, there's nothing like it. And the kindness of the people is something I've seen both times that I was here. And, you know, I really um, only knew Sri Lanka as a child from my parents' stories. And when I first came here 10 years ago, it was incredible to realize that all of these what seemed like completely idyllic paradise stories of their childhood was actually a real place. Um, and I, I know that Sri Lanka has been through some incredibly tough times at the moment. And that's very difficult to read about from abroad, especially if you feel very helpless, you can't do anything. And I know that everybody here is, is doing everything that they can to restore Sri Lanka um, at the moment. But one thing that still remains, and, and I've seen it these days is that the spirit of the people is not deterred. So uh, that's been very inspiring and reassuring. And um, I, I feel very, very, very proud to be of Sri Lankan heritage. Brilliant. Thank you so very much. Well, because your family is in many parts of the world, I'm sure they could all speak about Sri Lanka. They, you know, they're here. They're all flying off tomorrow. So thank you so very much. Uh, but also like to say, I love what you're wearing. And uh, I was told that I'll be getting one too. I was going, you know, get on stage will be, will be dressed by Columbo Jury Show. I heard that you wrote in the big book that only he gives it to very special people. Yeah. I think I may have said that to you. Yeah, I've been there so many times. Never, not even a paper has come out. So it's pretty <laughs> So thank you very much to our friend at the Columbo Jury Show. If you're planning, uh, diamonds are forever. <laughs> So don't worry. Just make sure you buy it only from him. Thank you so very much to where we are. Uh, Jepping, uh, it's amazing. Uh, your hospitality, food, the works, and if you're planning on doing something tonight, you could just stay back and enjoy the evening here. So that's a little tip that I would like to tell you. Big thank you to our friends at uh, Daily Mirror, Sunday Times. Hi, this is my plug in time. And uh, <laughs> Hi TV, thank you so very much. I must say a big thank you to Neomal. Round of applause. He's, uh, he's also called me, 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 me. There you go, that's my uncle Manu. So, uh, Neomal, uh, I think he looks really flustered because he was trying to put all of this together. So, thank you so very much to Neomal. A round of applause, he's just, there you go. And also, uh, to everyone who's here, thank you so very much for taking your time. Enjoy the evening, and uh, yeah. So, with me, I have Dylan. Dylan, you did a wonderful job. Such an amazing performance. Tell me what you were feeling when you were up on stage with Daniel. Well, oh my God. So, um, a complex program, but you know, I've worked with Daniel before and I sort of enjoy every moment, not only the performance, but the practice sessions to all of that. Uh, it had been a great learning opportunity and the way she interprets to all of that. So, um, I felt quite nervous when I started, but I guess then I sort of gained confidence. So, you know.
Well, with me, I have a very proud husband. Gus, tell me how you feel. Tell me how the performance went. Well, I thought she did pretty amazingly, didn't you? Um, she showed the whole range of what she can do. Opera to musical and all the languages, French, Russian, Italian. Um, I never feel that nervous because you know, I know that she can pull it out of that. She gets a bit nervous, but um, that's good. You need a, a few nerves. with me, I have Nidra and Jahan. Nidra, tell me, what do you think about Daniel's performance and what do you think about the crowd? Oh my goodness, it was fabulous. I mean, I knew it was something special when we first came, but it was breathtaking, is all I can say. Fabulous, fabulous hour of entertainment. She's a performer. Yeah, exactly. I think, and that's the main takeaway, that she's an absolute performer. She entertains uh, every word, every note is something different and uh, you didn't feel the hour, I mean, uh, absolutely stunning that there are people like this and of, you know, some connection to Sri Lanka and we should celebrate it a lot more than we do. That's the only thing that I was a bit disappointed about, you know, we, we need to celebrate people like this a lot more. 
Well, with me, I have Praveen. Praveen is someone, I think, who loves music. Tell me what made you come to this event. Well, yes, you're absolutely right. I love music, showbiz, drama, <laughs> theater. And of course, being the star today, this evening, Daniel Denise being a Sri Lankan, she's put us up on the map. So I've heard it once before, and I was thinking, yeah, why not make it again this time for the New Year's concert? And she did justice to it. I wish it had been longer, though. It was lovely. <laughs>
Well, with me, I have the people who have, you know, organized this wonderful event. Mano and Neomal, tell me why you have decided to do something like this. Well, we've always wanted Daniel, and we brought her down. On two occasions, two prior occasions as well. So, um, so this is the third time <laughs> in 10 years, or 10 years, right? Have yes, 10 years. Right. And then we wanted her again, and when we go to Blindbone, she gives us the best of time because we went stay with her. And Glyndebourne is really the Christie's home, which has been converted to one of the biggest opera centers, opera centers, centers in, the in London, world. In, in the world actually, yeah. yeah so. so that's why we think that uh, Gus was here today, the husband, yeah. and Christie, and that family has been well known in England for sponsoring art. Especially fostering, fostering, fostering the arts, fostering the arts there. So like we are, doing, we are trying to do our best here in Sri Lanka, so yeah. fostering the arts as well, promoting everyone possible, giving right. everyone opportunity to, um, I mean, come to events like this of high end. This, this level of, um, I mean, performance you'll never get anywhere else. It's, it's world famous. She's world famous yeah. because she's busy, eternally busy. Yeah. And uh, I mean, everyone I have spoken to, they all speak about, I mean, they pretty much spoke about Daniel. But tell me about the foundation a bit for the people who doesn't know about it. Well, when after I was made the Sri Lanka representative for the Royal School of Music London, yes, and that time we had only 214 teachers. Mm -hmm. We went up to, uh, sorry, 740. I mean, it's a huge achievement, yeah. right? <laughs> Huge, massive achievement. So we've been doing that for the last 22 years, right? And so the foundation was set up in 2012 when Daniel came the first time, right? And so from that point onwards, it's about fostering and helping children who are less fortunate, who do follow their and I mean continue in their musical careers, exams, you know that type of thing. So it's about getting books, training, teaching. It's all about that, about helping the less fortunate. Thank you so much for organizing an event like this where people get to experience, you know, see people like Daniel right here in Sri Lanka. So thank you so much. I wish you all the very best.
Daniel, Denise, tell me, um, how does it feel to be back in Sri Lanka and perform in front of such a magnificent crowd? Oh, it's been amazing. It was an incredibly esteemed crowd today. Just an incredible evening to share lots of the greatest hits of classical music and light musical theater. Um, I've had a wonderful time and it's been great just reminiscing about things and the times that I've been here and um, and also enjoying the country of Sri Lanka, even though we're going through a tough moment, you know, to, to, to realize that the spirit of the people is very strong, is, is very empowering and very beautiful. Well, that's it for High Events. I hope you had a wonderful time watching this episode and I'll definitely see you on another episode of High Events. I'm your host, Satmanagira. Oh,